SB supervisor. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in right now? I thought I had ruined my life. I thought I was done. After meeting you and discovering you understood how dangerous Cassie and Andor was, and just... Just being in your presence, I... I realized that life was worth living. I realized that if nothing else, there was justice and beauty in the galaxy, and if I just kept going... Perhaps my deranged belief that there was something better fated for me in the future was a dream worth clinging to. I could have you arrested. You're aware of that. I want what you want. I sense it. I know it. You're out of your mind. I have already given you a second chance. You come near me again, you pursue any of this, and I swear I'll have you in a cage on the outer rim. So a really good friend of mine gave me this uh, article that came out last year in 2022 where it talked about Denise Goff, where she was interviewed by Empire and she was talking about the Desert Mural character. I will uh, put the link in the description for you all to uh, check out either that or pin it in the comment section. But with that, let's dive into something specific that now I'm going to do a couple other videos, a few other videos on this article, so be on the lookout for them. But Let's dive into uh, just the key specific, this one specific thing that uh, Denise Goff talks about with Dedra. She talked about a plethora of things when it's pertaining to Dedra Miro, her character, her background, you know, how she carries herself and all of this stuff, you know, even to the point where she she was talking about how, you know, Dedra and and Luthen Raw have, you know, something sort of kind of in a sense similar when it's pertaining to when you know, Luther Raw was talking about, you know, his sacrifice, right? But Denise does say this part in the uh, in this article when it's pertaining to Dedra and her character and even Cyril Karn. This is what it says. She, like I said, she compared, you know, Luther Raw, you know, the, the speech of I burn my life to make a sunrise. I, I know I'll never see. Um, and then she said, but she does say this specific thing where she says that Dedra Miro sacrifices everything. She says, Denise Goff goes on to say that she's that she doesn't have friends. She doesn't have a life. She's prepared to be despised. It's less it's less that her life is burned. Uh, Empire argues than it is simply neglected. She ices her 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 life agrees golf. Everything is iced out. Everything. Luthen burns it. There's an energy to that. But Dedra's is just as painful. She's frozen everything. Perhaps for, for reasons uh, that's another layer to Dedra's rejection of Karn outside the ISB building. When we when we were playing that scene, uh, uh, Denise goes on to say she was she said that she was furious. She said, how dare how dare he touch me? Golf recalls, but when I watched it back, I thought, oh my God, she's n never been touched. Never. Yes, this guy can be construed as creepy and weird. And I've gone on record in saying that, you know, the scene with uh, Cyril Karn and Dedra outside of the ISB, where he literally tells her that he stalked, you know, he basically stalked her. He, he would watch her a few times going in and out of the building. You know, he to me he just seems like he's obsessed with her and I, I i've also gone on record on live streams and videos and saying that i really don't want this uh relationship between them two but it seems like they're gonna put these two characters together in season two um but we'll see what happens with that but going on to read um she does go on to say that you know she like i said she's never been touched never yes this guy can be Strewed as creepy and weird, but what does that do to a woman who's never been with anyone ever? That's Tony and uh, Bu and Dan, the writers. Dedra is a domi uh, dominate uh, dominatrix. Isn't as interesting to me as Dedra, as somebody who has serious issues with intimacy and is way overwhelmed by this person's energy for her. And I sit back and I wonder, guys, you know, with, you know, these two characters, it's going to be really interesting to see because I feel like I said, I feel like they're going to put these two characters together. They're going to have them be a couple, but it's going to be interesting to see per what, you know, Denise Goff is talking about with Dedra is the fact that 
I feel like Cyril was going to be looking to have and build a relationship with her, but, but I feel like Dedra's going to be standoff. She's going to be in, in, the, in the full on defense mode because she's never been with anybody. She doesn't have a family. She doesn't have, you know, kids. She, you know, she's just, just her. She goes to work, she comes home. And, you know, she's never been, you know, she's never been with, you know, some, you know, anybody, you know, when it's pertaining to a relationship. So, going to be interesting to see. You know, with the fact that again, she's fully like like she like Denise Golf said, she she froze her life, she froze everything, she iced everything about herself just to specifically be about you know the empire, about the ISB, about you know even coming from enforcement, then joining the ISB, becoming a supervisor, you know, and doing all these things and getting the position that she's in now. We you know I wonder what is going to be this relationship when we see it in season two. Because again, I feel like that's what's going to happen. And I believe many of you agree that, that this is the case. But again, like I said, I've gone on record and saying that I don't want them together. Because again, like I said, Cyril Karn to me is a stalker. And, you know, yes, very inappropriate. He grabbed her and stuff like that um, as well. And that shouldn't have been the case. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. What do you all think of this? Let's talk about some things in the comment section. Share your thoughts. I'll read them. I'll respond, of course. If you feel up to it, no pressure. But with that, I will hopefully talk to you on another video and stream to come soon. Remember, the Force will be with you always.